Drawing matter is an archive, um, but it's not just an archive. I mean, drawing matter is at somewhere called Shatwell Farm that is a project initiated by Neil Hobhouse, who's an architectural benefactor, collector, magpie, commissioner of extraordinary buildings. And he has a farm where he lives, where over many years he's invited lots of different architects from Peter Smithson, Alison Smithson, right the way through to contemporary architects, young architects working now to design and build really unusual bits of sort of agricultural infrastructure. It sort of feels like a farmyard, but when you look and look a little bit more carefully, you'll see that every building perhaps is not quite just an agricultural building, it's something else again. What I hope the students get from it is a sense of the kind of real life, and often we consume architecture by looking at an image. It's a static image, there are no people in it, there's no mess in it, there's no real life in it. Somewhere like Drawing Matter, although it's a private collection of drawings, is really real. And I think it's really good for students to see the reality of buildings close up. So much of this research goes on online and we believe very strongly that the experience of actually physically holding the sheet of paper, uh, being able to turn it over to see the architect's mistakes and so on, um, is really critical. The one thing I would love them to take away is the sense of drawing being a verb, not a noun. It's not the finished object that's interesting from your point of view. It's the, the understanding that you get of how an architect's design process evolves. After Drawing Matter, we brought the students down to East Quay. That's a project that I was involved with, I was the architect for, and worked on for eight years. And it's very much a project that was initiated by four women in an organisation called The Onion Collective. And we brought the students here because it is really important to see how four women with no money brought about extraordinary change for their town with no experience of procuring buildings, no experience of raising money, how those four women did something for their community. And it's a collection of art studios, workshops, it has a restaurant, it has a paper mill. And the purpose of bringing them here is to see how a building can bring about change. Seeing it for the first time, like in person, was totally different from what we expected, only looking at drawings and photographs, and actually being able to understand the building was was very nice. Um, the fact that it's kind of created as a type of extending the streets as well here. So going in between these small pods, that's been really interesting um, and something that I might take on as an inspiration for my own project. The history behind this building has been a journey from four women who had the idea and a passion to, to produce this and you know as we, as it was mentioned today, this was not the finished version, it's, it's, it's evolved through time. And one thing that I've taken away is never settle on the first design, it's always going to evolve after time. <laughs>